reconnecting and opening to the purity of the inner fire happens as we start noticing where we get pulled off course. Rumi puts it this way, he says, gamble everything for love. If you're a true human being, half-heartedness doesn't reach into majesty. You set out to find God, but then you keep stopping for long periods at mean-spirited roadhouses. I've always loved that one, you know. You set out to find God, but you keep stopping for long periods at mean-spirited roadhouses. Can you relate a little? (laughs) And we all know it. In fact, I think of it often. Uh, Kabir has this line that we keep connecting with this daily sense of failure. And I think it's because we sense deep down this this longing to, you know, follow that, that pure inner fire, to really be all that we are, and to, to love without holding back, to, to be here for ourselves and each other in an awake way. And yet we watch each day the ways we get tugged around, the way we get small-minded or mean-spirited or just caught in a little trance of, um, you know, distractedness that daily sense of failure. So in this class we're looking at how to tap that inner fire, how to cut through all the distracting energies and remember. And really the pathway is the practices we do together of coming into presence and then that inquiry, okay, So what is most important? What is my deep aspiration here? I remember some years ago, now it's probably about 20 years ago, I went to a retreat with Thich Nhat Hanh, a great Zen master, and I went with one of my very, very closest friends, someone I don't get to see a lot. No, it was a treat that we got to drive together and drive back. And we, at the very close of the retreat, he said, pick a partner and stand up with your partner. And so we were partners. And he had us, you know, holding hands and just, you know, kind of looking into each other's eyes and sensing the person's there. And then he said, okay, now embrace your partner. And he had us meditate on these these statements. He said, meditate on I'm going to die and you're going to die. And we have just these moments together. And I remember in that moment, you know, there was some insanity to racing through this life and not opening more to, hey, look at the beauty of this loving, you know, not to let it pass without more of an acknowledgement, more of a, a cherishing, more of a inhabiting. <laughs> Create a clearing in the dense forest of your life that pausing. Mm-hmm.